Okay, we need a cordless drill, screws, long bungee cords, and a bunch of paper towel holders. Paper towel holders? Really good ones. We just nuked our whole lives, and now we're running from a multinational defense conglomerate with friends at every level of government and law enforcement. Makes sense we'd stop for housewares. One of those mega hardware stores shelves to the sky, but everyone inside looks freaked out and the automatic doors are all hinky. No surprise to us. We made it happen. We should split up so we can get the stuff faster. Can you get the bungee cords? Jesus, we don't even know if this will work. We definitely can't dump the harp. They won't take us without it. You still haven't told me who. Hey, can I help you guys at all? We're both trained. We both know not to give this guy a seem like they were in a hurry impression that he can repeat to the wrong people later. Oh, yeah, thanks. Uh, did you guys lose power here too? You lost power too? In our car. Weird, right? Even our emergency lights didn't work. Nobody got hurt? You'd think, right? Total darkness plus power saws? It was just for a minute, so... We're looking for a bunch of random things, probably all over the place. Well, that's no problem. Well, do you have, like, really top-quality paper towel racks? How top-quality are we talking? Well, like stainless steel, maybe? Oh, and they have to have that bar that goes through. Pretty sure we do. Wanna follow me? I'll find the bungees. Oh, bungee cords are aisle 15. Someone can definitely help you there. Great. Babe, I'll meet you up front. It's our first kiss in a week, and definitely the lightest and driest we've ever done. But it's also... It's a kiss like if we'd been together 12 years and we're just, you know, shopping together. For stuff. For our house. I love it. Tor Labs presents Steal the Stars by Mac Rogers. Produced by Gideon Media. Episode 12, All That Sky. After 40 agonizing minutes of waiting in the dark, hot van for Matt to charge the cordless drill's battery at a coffee shop... Hurry. How much time do you think we have? If I figured the harp right, a few more hours before anyone at Quill is ambulatory. Hope so. We're gonna need it. Let's get the harp out? Yeah, I got it. Oh, I wish we had more light. I could open the back. These people don't know what a turn down box is. No, we need to take Moss out too. Why? I'll explain what we do. Give me a hand. Careful. Yeah, the Moss. I got it. So, what's the big idea? Okay, so I'm trying to think like Lloyd, right? We already know if we pick up the harp and carry it, we get an unscheduled flip out. We now also know if we put it in a vehicle and drive with it, the same thing happens. So it seems like you can't move it at all, except that, that can't be true because... It crossed a gajillion light years of space. Right! If it got all the way down to Earth, why can't we drive it down the street? So what's the difference in the ship? It was sitting in that thing. Right. Held in with the pins. Okay, I need to climb into the box. Can you hold it steady? I mean, yeah, but why? Because I was also thinking about how light it is, right? The harp? Like how it almost feels like it's made of balsa wood? Right. And I know this isn't scientific. I mean, I know Lloyd would give me so much shit. But what if it's also delicate, like balsa wood? And that got me thinking about babies. Okay, shit's getting surreal now. Can you hand me the cordless drill? Yep. So babies, right? Human babies. Animals are different, but human babies are born like not ready to live yet. They can't walk, they're defenseless, they're fragile, they're like balsa wood. Okay. So we swaddle them, so they can't move too much, makes them feel safe. What do you need next? Uh, start opening paper towel holders? I got some different kinds, I might have to experiment. On it. So like if the harp is both fragile and dangerous, maybe they made it like a baby. Like it freaks out if it doesn't feel safe, if it's bouncing around if it doesn't feel locked in. So we're gonna what? Swaddle the harp? But not like a baby. That's not how it was swaddled in the engine room. Holy shit. Stainless steel paper towel racks. With the bar that goes through the roll. Just like the pins in the engine room. So what I'm gonna do is feed the bars through the holes in the bottom frame of the harp, then add the fixtures. And then drill them down into the floor of the turndown box. Then bungee them to the wall so that the box doesn't roll. Shit! That could, I mean, that could maybe... Well, I mean, let's see. Can you grab the harp and climb in with me? Yeah, one sec. And 
And now we're in a coffin together. Feeding the first bar through now. The whole process takes an excruciating half hour in sweltering darkness, lit only by the screen of my burner phone. But now the heart's drilled in. Moss and the box are bungeed to the walls side by side. So I guess the only way to test it is... Yeah. Let's do it. I'm driving like I've got priceless crystal wear sitting on the roof. So if like 10 minutes go by and it doesn't freak out... I guess I should quit grandma driving. We need to know if it can take 70 mi- Ah! Crap! What? If it's screwed in back there, it's exposed. Oh, shit. It's not insulated. Should I go put the bag over it? Won't work. We can't seal the bag around it while it's screwed to the box. So we what? We unscrew it and put it in the bag when we hit the 100 hour mark? Oh, but wait, wait! The clock resets after every use, right? That's what they found out while I was away. Meaning? Meaning we just used it. We've got four days. We're handing it off way before then. Next time we have to worry about the harp, we'll already be home free. Um... Awesome. Balls alarm. I'm gonna jump on the highway here. Handing it off to who? What? You just said we're handing it off. Dak, where are we going? Right. Yeah. I don't have to beat any more light detectors, do I? We're hitting a spot on the Tex-Mex border, about 200 clicks south of El Paso. Someone will be waiting there in a beat-up looking fruit van. We load Moss and the harp into that, cross into Mexico, they'll take us to a mobile lab. Who's mobile lab? The Chinese. They'll check out Moss and the harp. If they're happy with both, we get 50 million US and asylum for life. Or. Wait. We'll be rich. We'll be safe. We'll be together. We're giving Moss to the Chinese. We're giving the harp to the Chinese. As opposed to who? The totally awesome and responsible people we stole it from? We should be prepared to move the box with your whole harp set up to another van. Probably be smart to switch up vehicles a few times. Yeah, I guess. Probably. Of course, we gotta see if it works first. And so. we can't... Like, we can't... What? I mean, of course we can't. What? Like, go to my house? Your house? Right. The hell are No, you? I know. It's stupid. Obviously, we're not. You know how many people they'll have camped outside your... I know we're not going to my house. Good, because we're not. I mean, what... what... I've said, I know we're not going... I don't going... even know why you brought it up. Like, you're trained. You're in the game. You know how this works. Right. Except in the game, you get the briefing before the thing, not in the middle. This was the only way it would work. This was the only way you could be... I get life. all that. Then why are you talking about this? I have stuff in my house. I have, I don't know, pictures, memories, family stuff. Like a person picks up things in their life, right? That's normal. Everybody does. We're fugitives. What did you think this was? I'm wrapping my head around it, okay? I'm never going to see any of that stuff again. You agreed with me. We talked about this, and you agreed. We wanted to be free. We wanted to be together. Right. But the last time I knew the plan, we were selling moss to Nine Source and going to Costa Rica. They can get us in Costa Rica. Sierra can get to us in Costa Rica. They can get to us in Switzerland. They can get us in... Think of a place. They can get to us there. But they can't get to us in China. Right! That too! This is all old news to you. You've been setting it up for days, but I'm in the first five minutes of knowing I'll be living in China for the rest of my life. Right! With me! I mean, do you know anything about China? Do you know any Chinese beyond tactical phrases we all got in training? I know it won't matter. Do you know how to live in China? Do you even know how to go to the store? I know how to live anywhere in the world with 50 million dollars. Do you know what I had to do to put this all together? I'm not shitting on your plan, Dak. I just need a minute to... I'm leaving everything. Like, everything. And I'm... But what if someone woke you up this morning and said, put on a shirt, put on some shoes, we're going to China forever. What would you do? If that was you? If it was you saying that? I'd put my fucking shirt and shoes on. All right. You know what? Obviously... Let's just drive, and I'm gonna think... I'm sorry my plan to make us rich and happy forever didn't include stopping off to get all your lacrosse trophies and letters from ex-girlfriends. I'm done talking, okay? I'm completely done talking. 
This is doing nothing. I'm just gonna sit here and get my head around it, okay? I'm sorry I didn't think of every single thing. Just please! Please. Please let me just sit here and think. Fine. Do that. Do that. And honestly, part of me saying to myself, why didn't you think of that? Of course a person wants to take their stuff when they go. Why didn't you figure that in, you stupid bitch? But then another part of me's like, you did think of that. Somewhere deep down, you did think of that, and you decided to forget. So he'd have to start clean. So he'd have nothing to cling to but you. The sun's setting over a desert stretch of highway before he talks again. You know what? What? How long have we been driving? Close to four hours. And not a peep? Hey, we're not screwed! We're not screwed this way, at least. Hey, any win's a win. <laughs> Look, it was a good idea. I wouldn't have thought of that. Find somewhere safe. What? To park. Find somewhere safe. I find some crap-ass little town where almost everything's boarded up. Park behind a store with broken windows. Whatever, I'd have parked in hell for this. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. I'm a little dehydrated. Mm, Christ, I needed that. No, it's been a week, but that was like you got out of prison. <laughs> <laughs> it felt like a month. I like, thought about it like 20 times a day, like I'm a goddamn high school sophomore or something. Hey, I'm not complaining. <sighs> but don't get pissed if I'm through for the night. What, the whole hot stuffy van with dead alien watching thing doesn't turn you on? Oh, Jesus, I forgot about Moss. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. But I can see him now in a little sliver of light from the street bungeed to the wall, his gray-white head, his huge black eyes. So tell me about it. What? Your plan. How you thought it out. How you put it all together. Really? If you want to. And so I do. I tell him all of it. Starting from the moment Grant left my apartment. I tell him about staring at the ceiling, putting it all together. I tell him about Myrtle Beach, DC, Lisa, Zhang, Nikki, Trip Hayden, the letter, Lauren, shaking Grant's hand. And since Moss's eyes never close, it's like he's listening to the whole thing. Like, I'm reason. telling the story to both of them. Which is where my friend Lisa comes in. Near the busted up store is a stretch of Arizona desert plain. We walk a bit, never letting the van out of our sight. That was weird, hearing myself say it all in a row like that. I... I could never... Okay, some of it I never could have thought of. Some of it I would know the right people, and some of it You I... never would have done. Well, I'm not saying that Hurting exactly. Lauren, hurting Harrison, hurting Patty. I'm not thinking about it like that. I am. First thing they hammer into you when you start climbing the field leadership ladder. Sure, we know you're willing to die, but that's nothing. Are you willing to make other people die to secure the objective? And if you're not... They get you there. This is the last time. I am using all my stuff. Everything I honed in myself this one more time, and then that's it. Off the clock for good. Last tour, no redeployment, just life. I've earned that. We've earned that. Then I guess... 
Let's go get it. Jesus. Look at all that sky. <laughs> I mean, is that crazy or what? <laughs> He's so thin. When I throw my arms around him, it's like they could go around twice. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all that sky. <laughs> Next morning, small town again, but a little more active than the last one. Big enough to sell burners and have vans to steal. Stupid question. You can steal a car, right? Of course. Another van, I'm assuming. Or a truck, as long as it's not with a big company. On it. You? Grabbing a burner, in case we need it to make contact. Plus, I want to take a look-see. At what? How Sierra is playing it, if our faces are on the news. You think they are? Find that van. Got the burner at a cheap electronics place, then headed straight across the street to the copy place with computers in it. Can I pay for computer time in cash? There's a thing to put your credit card in. I put a couple 20s on the counter. And that's the only way? I'll set you up. Okay, just some report about localized brownouts near Quill Marine. I know they're burning the earth to find us, but at least they're not putting our faces around. Makes sense. Risk of some local idiot gunning for us and seeing moss is too high. At least for now. I head back to the spot outside town. Matt's wiping down the old van when I get there. Right next to a freshly stolen one. All good? No wanted posters yet. What do you want to move first, moss or the harp? Harp last. They'll be looking for freak power outages. I want us almost ready to go if that happens. I'm hoping the vans are close enough together that it won't even come to that. That's why I parked this close. Maybe. Don't we usually have to carry it for like ten seconds before it gets antsy? I should be able to hand it off to you in just five. Hey, I'm pulling for you to be right. I'll get inside. I'll slide Moss's legs out to you. Shit. What? Seeing him in the sunlight like this. What? The moss is a lot less, isn't it? On um, his chest? Yeah, I, I guess. Just if it happens this fast, he'll be dead in what, like? Dak. What? What are you talking about? Nothing. It was always just a theory, right? Lloyd always said there was no. Yeah. And even if it was true, and we knew it was true... We couldn't do anything about it. The Chinese don't need him to be alive. They just need him to be real, right? I'll just tell them to put him on ice or whatever. But something's still bugging you. No, just... Now that he's out of Quill, it's like... Almost like he's my responsibility now. Your responsibility? Like he's one of the grunts under my command. And it's on me to get him home. Matt was right. The distance between vans was short enough that the harp didn't freak out. And we're making good time now, maybe ten hours from the rendezvous. I know, we can't avoid them forever, but we don't need forever. What do you think is like the nice part of China? I mean, China's huge. I'm sure there's tons of nice places. Well, you don't have that part figured out? I just figured, you know, after you defect, you have nothing but time. Maybe we'll look around. Defect. What? Jesus, was that your burner? It's a text. It's a... Nobody has that number, right? It's impossible. You just bought it. That's what I thought. What does it say? Dak, what does it say? When I call, put it on speaker. Shit. So it's either... It's either Sierra or... Is anyone following us? No one I've spotted. But if they know where we are... Do we... Do we... I check the rear view. I can't see anyone either. 
We just leave it, right? If it's Jung, if it's our contact... How would they have that number? I don't know. I don't know how anyone has it. Okay. Look, I, I guess there's nothing to do but keep going. Next chance we get, I'm swapping out for another one. This is... Another text? Jesus, just tell me. Put it on speaker or Patty suffers. I mean, they'd... If we answered, they'd use it to track us, right? If they know which phone to call, they've already tracked us. Okay, don't say anything. Wait. Wait, are you seriously... Just don't say anything. So, you're gonna want to hang up. Don't. Put it on speaker. I wasn't kidding. I signaled to Matt, don't talk. Then I put it on speaker. Now here's what you're going to do next. You are going to confirm that we are in fact on speaker and we can all hear each other. You're going to do this by simply saying yes, one after the other. Think you can handle that? Again, lovebirds, that's yes. First one, then the other. I know who's in the car. You're not keeping anything secret from me. Now fucking say yes! Let's have handsome Dak first, young Matt second. Yes. Yes. You'll want to hang up fast, so I'm going to say it all in a row. Sierra has a reciprocal relationship with the Bureau to use their updated facial recognition system. We got a hit near the store where you bought the burner, and we leaned on the owner for this number. Take a second to think what that means. How close we must be. I checked the mirror again. Different cars from last time, no repeaters. Want another piece of interesting trivia? Everyone in law enforcement contracts with Sierra. At this moment, we are rapidly and exhaustively reviewing reports of stolen vehicles large enough for, you know, everything you're carrying. We're on to traffic cams, toll cams, everything with a lens between that store and Mexico. And every vehicle that could possibly contain my property will be searched comprehensively at the Mexican border. You are cooked. It's a fait accompli. It just simply hasn't happened yet. I almost have my thumb on the button to hang up. But, but it's, it's a bit of a weird fit for me, honestly, because I'm really not a manhunter by nature. I sort of have to be right now because you've made my whole reputation dependent on mopping up this nasty spill. But what I really am is a deal maker, and a deal maker never comes to the table without an offer. If you call in your location and wait for us there, you'll get a year each. One year only. Then you'll be released to separate locations, unburdened from your contracts. You won't do more tours. You won't go to chem zones. You'll have nothing, but you'll be free. This offer expires the moment we find you first. Really, congratulations, handsome Dak. I've never called anyone as wrong as I called you. I can't think what else to do, so I break up the burner and throw it out the window. I don't know what to do. Not this, not this fucking close. You heard him. I mean, what are we supposed to... Shit! There's a solution. What solution? You've lived the same life as me. How many times did it look like there was nothing until there was something? And how many times was there just nothing? Just keep driving. Driving to what? Driving to them catching us at the border? There's no way they're checking every large vehicle at every crossing point. That's insane. I don't think so. I think that guy would do anything. You heard him. You tricked him personally to make this happen. And people know. At least Harrison and Patty know. Hell, his dad probably knows by now. He'll search the cars himself if he has to. Look, we can... We can... Uh... Okay, first we need another van. Which will get reported as stolen, and then Sierra will have the description. It makes no difference. All right, all right, god damn it! Dak, seriously. I don't see any- Jesus, you know what we actually need? What? A friend. We need a person who no one's looking for with a big enough vehicle that isn't stolen to drive us to the rendezvous. I mean, we need... We need a friend. Sorry, I know that was a stupid- There might stupid... be someone. What? There might be someone. We find a dead-end exit by another burner with our heads down, 
and now I'm watching Matt pace in the sand and talk to someone. It's taking forever, so I open the back doors and take another look at the big guy. It wasn't my brain playing tricks. The moss is definitely receding. It's basically like some wisps of gross green chest hair at this point. I'm sorry, buddy. I don't know what to do for you. I don't know about a vehicle or anything else, but at least know where we can get off the road for the night. Look, we have to assume they're camped out everywhere. Family, friends... I never put her down on any of the vetting forms. Who? It was to protect her if they investigated her. Who? Her name's Teresa. Teresa. It's four hours out of the way in Odessa. Means we'd have to double back to make our rendezvous tomorrow night. And Teresa is... Someone I trust. Wait. If they'd investigated her, what? What is she into? It's a risk, but I decide not to steal another van. Keep them from getting another hit on their radar. It's a quiet four hours to Odessa, but we don't have any trouble. Maybe because it's out of our way, no one's looking for us there. We pull up to a ranch-style house. She said the driveway goes around back. She said pull all the way in, she'll see me and come out. She'll see... Did you tell her I'd be with you? One sec. This is where she lives? No. Shit, what's that? It's just motion lights. Or, I think it's just motion lights. Matt? Yeah. At first, I can only see her silhouette. Oh my god. Oh my god! And then, an absolutely goddamn beautiful woman runs full into the wash of the motion lights and kisses Matt hard on the mouth. You came back? Oh my god, you came back! Steal the Stars by Mac Rogers, starring Ashley Atkinson. Presented by Tor Labs, produced by Gideon Media. Episode 12 also features Nima Jarabchi, Abe Goldfarb, David Shi, and Sol Marina Crespo. Music by Linda Worsley, sound design by Bart Fassbender, directed by Jordana Williams. Next time on Steal the Stars. Hi, I'm Teresa Perez. That thing we talked about? But thing, don't you dare worry about me. So this, this is what you and Matt do for a living. There's a car, straight ahead, see? Jesus, when did that get here? You're running away from them now, right? What did you mean? What did his call remind you of? Sort of a good news, bad news situation. We don't really have a margin for bad news.